We are glad to have you back on the God's Light channel. Temple Mount Discovery holds shocking 2024 Trump prophecy. Get ready to embark on a journey that combines the allure of ancient mysteries with the intrigue of modern prophecy. Picture this. Amidst the time-worn stones and rich history of Jerusalem's Temple Mount, a discovery of profound significance has come to light, sending shockwaves through the archaeological community. Hey. But hold on to your hats, because here's where it gets truly fascinating. This discovery is intricately linked to a prophecy attributed to none other than Donald Trump. So join us as we delve into the captivating tale of the Temple Mount Revelation and the extraordinary Trump prophecy that's captivating hearts and minds in 2024. It's a friendly invitation to explore the intersection of the past, present, and perhaps even the future, all from the comfort of your own imagination. Let's embark on this adventure together. The Bible is full of predictions about the future, but figuring them out can be tricky. Th it's important to keep an open mind and not try to squeeze them into what we already think will happen. The best way to understand the Bible is to read it carefully and think about what it means. The one especially puzzling prediction is in Daniel chapter 27. Some things in this passage seem to have come true with Jesus' arrival, but others haven't happened yet. For example, it talks about lasting goodness being established, a super holy place being set apart, and all the prophecies being wrapped up, things that haven't occurred so far. Here's an interesting way to look at this prophecy. Maybe it's talking about two sets of seven-year periods. Sixty-nine of these years seem to be over, which means a big chunk of the prophecy has been fulfilled. But there's one last seven-year period yet to come, and that's when everything else predicted is supposed to happen. But Moreover, the proposal introduces the idea of another decree that might mark the beginning of the 490-year period, leading to the Messiah's arrival. If we consider this alternative decree, it would place the Messiah's coming in 33 AD a differing from the commonly accepted timeline. While this suggestion deviates from mainstream scholarship, it is an often overlooked possibility. And this alternative timeline also has implications for the start of Jesus' ministry. Various theories about the beginning of Jesus' public ministry are examined in light of this proposed timeline, offering a new perspective on the relationship between biblical prophecy and historical events. This interpretation challenges traditional views, encouraging a reconsideration of established beliefs based on new insights from thorough study and divine inspiration. Through this approach, there is an effort to deepen our understanding of biblical prophecy and its significance in the unfolding of history. Exploring the duration of Jesus' ministry, an argument is presented that challenges the commonly held belief of a three-and-a-half-year time frame. By examining historical evidence found in both the Bible and early church writings, this perspective questions the traditional assumption, highlighting the rich narrative of Jesus' actions recorded in the Gospels and the assertions of early church fathers regarding a more extended ministry. A central aspect of this argument is the detailed accounts of Jesus' activities in the Gospels, which suggest that a mere three and a half years may not suffice to encompass all that is described. Additionally, references to early church fathers who propose a longer duration for Jesus' ministry indicate a divergence from the commonly accepted timeline. Supporting this perspective further is the reference to a seismic event recorded in Roman history during Jesus' crucifixion, providing a tangible historical marker that challenges traditional chronology. This seismic event is presented as evidence supporting the notion of a longer ministry for Jesus. In linking the extended ministry to biblical prophecy, the argument draws upon the prophetic decree in Isaiah concerning foreigners rebuilding Jerusalem's walls. This decree is interpreted as potentially pointing to a future rebuilding of the city, aligning with the idea of a prolonged ministry for Jesus. This fresh perspective challenges how long Jesus' ministry might have lasted. By weaving together biblical accounts, historical records, and insights from prophecy, it invites us to reconsider the timeline. This exploration aims to enrich our understanding of Jesus' life and purpose, revealing connections between scripture, history, and prophecy in a new light. It the book delves deeply into biblical prophecy, uncovering a potential revelation about Jerusalem's rebuilding and the arrival of either the Messiah. The intrigue begins with a captivating passage in Daniel chapter 9, verse 25. 
The mention of a decree to restore and rebuild Jerusalem sparks our imagination and begs the question, what does this truly mean? At first glance, it seems like the mysterious prince mentioned in these verses refers to just one person. But upon closer examination, a fascinating possibility emerges. What if these lines point to two separate figures? This tantalizing idea fuels the desire to explore further, venturing into exciting new intellectual territory. Fueled by this fresh perspective, the search intensifies for a decree that perfectly aligns with the time frame outlined in the passage. After meticulous analysis and deep dives into historical records, a fascinating possibility emerges. The period between 1535 and 1540, 41. This era is marked by intriguing signs that hint at preparations for rebuilding the temple and restoring priestly rituals. However, the true turning point arrives in 2020 when the COVID-19 pandemic grips the world. This global event acts as a catalyst, igniting a spark, igniting a spark of deeper understanding. A hidden meaning within the name coronavirus is revealed, potentially serving as a cryptic message heralding the fulfillment of the prophesied decree. This interpretation adds a layer of profound significance to the entire exploration. The journey of discovery emphasizes the importance of careful attention to the subtle details of biblical prophecy and being open to divine inspiration. It passionately advocates for a discerning approach to scripture, urging readers to embark on their own quest for truth with unwavering dedication and a receptive mind. In an enthralling journey into the annals of history, a person shares a remarkable discovery. Ancient decrees meticulously detailing the restoration efforts of Jerusalem's revered Temple Mount and its surrounding moat. This revelation unfolds against the backdrop of a relentless pursuit of knowledge, driven by an insatiable curiosity to unearth the hidden treasures of the past and unravel the mysteries of ancient civilizations. What makes these decrees truly special are two key Hebrew words, Ryab and Shutz. They're more than just vocabulary, they're portals to a bygone era. Ryab, meaning plaza, paints a picture of bustling marketplaces and lively gatherings. Shuts, which translates to trench, conjures images of strong defenses and strategic fortifications, packed with historical weight and cultural significance. These words unlock the secrets of daily life in ancient Jerusalem. Adding to the excitement is a decree attributed to Sultan Suleiman, a legendary historical figure who oversaw a golden age of art, culture, and architecture. This incredibly well-preserved document chronicles the ambitious restoration project that mounts glory and protect its surrounding moat. The detailed records are a tribute to the meticulous skill and unwavering commitment of those who ensured the sanctity of Jerusalem's sacred spaces. And this new discovery takes things a step further than the restorations documented in the revered texts of Ezra and Nehemiah. Back then, there wasn't the same level of meticulous record-keeping we see here. This detailed documentation acts like a historical fingerprint, adding a layer of authenticity that previous restorations lacked. The discovery goes even deeper. By examining these decrees, the person finds intriguing clues, suggesting that the prophesied seven-year period of Jerusalem's restoration, mentioned in the Bible, might have begun in 2020. This adds another layer of intrigue. Could this be a sign of things to come? The person also ponders a thought-provoking connection. They wonder if the current global turmoil might be somehow linked to these ancient prophecies, acting as a potential foreshadowing of the end times. By placing these ancient texts alongside present-day events, the discovery highlights the enduring relevance of biblical narratives. It invites us to consider the cyclical nature of history and the power of faith to guide us through any challenges that may lie ahead. Intriguing connections are being drawn between recent events and a powerful passage in the book of Daniel, which speaks of a covenant with the many for one week. This idea is gaining traction as major geopolitical events unfold, seemingly echoing the echo in the echoes of ancient prophecies. It's a fascinating exploration of how scripture and contemporary reality might be intertwined, especially during times of uncertainty and change. Remember April 2020, the world watched with interest as the Peace to Prosperity Plan was unveiled by former President Trump. 
This ambitious initiative aimed to broker lasting peace between Israel and the Palestinians. Notably, the plan included provisions acknowledging Jewish rights to pray at the Temple Mount and participate in religious festivals. This marked a significant step towards reconciliation and recognized the deep historical significance of Jerusalem. Then, in September 2020, history was made with the signing of the Abraham Accords. This momentous ceremony, held at the White House, brought together nations from across the Middle East. It was a powerful reaffirmation of the Abrahamic Covenant, a turning point in regional dynamics. This agreement paves the way for increased cooperation and shared prosperity in the years to come. Interpretations of these events vary, but a thoughtful view suggests that the word confirm in the prophecy might mean not just establishing the covenant, but also strengthening it. There is also interesting speculation about who the Antichrist might be, with some thinking it could be someone rising to power through diplomatic and strategic moves. Former President Trump's strong support for Israel and his recognition of its sovereignty over Jerusalem and the Golan Heights are particularly noteworthy. Some see these actions as having prophetic significance and hinting at the fulfillment of ancient prophecies. These geopolitical moves, rich in symbolism and strategic importance, reflect a changing global landscape that many believe is on the verge of fulfilling these prophecies. In exploring the significance of the Temple Mount and the potential fulfillment of biblical prophecies, we encounter a fascinating interplay between sacred scripture and contemporary events. Central to this discussion is the Temple Mount itself, a site of immense historical and religious importance that has endured through the ages. When examining traditional beliefs about the need for a physically rebuilt temple are reconsidered, instead the focus shifts to the lasting sanctity of the Temple Mount, suggesting that eschatological events might occur within its sacred grounds. In this context, the Antichrist's claim to divinity and the desecration of the temple are seen as serious indicators of eschatological upheaval. This new perspective provides a thought-provoking way to understand how end-time events could unfold in the midst of today's geopolitical landscape. Furthermore, the need for sacrifices is reconsidered, focusing not on the resumption of traditional rituals, but on the symbolic importance of their reinstatement. This interpretation highlights the deeper spiritual meanings behind eschatological events. Attention is also drawn to the recent delivery of five blemish-free red heifers to Israel, an event with profound eschatological significance. Known as the Year of the Red Heifer, this occurrence symbolizes a link between ancient sacrificial practices and current realities, creating anticipation for potential ceremonies and their implications. As speculation grows about the start of these related events, the discussion provides a guiding light through the complex paths of eschatological interpretation. It invites us to engage with scripture and recognize the signs of the times. Ultimately, this exploration encourages us to navigate the unfolding story of divine providence and human history with wisdom and faith. Some people believe we might be entering a period of great change, as described in the book of Revelation. This special time could be a seven-year stretch filled with challenges and struggles, leading up to a significant turning point. With a keen eye for interpretations of prophecy, this view suggests that this intense period might culminate in the fall of 2027, marking a major fulfillment of biblical predictions. Additionally, some focus on the spring of 2024 as a potential time for important events related to the Jerusalem Temple potentially including the abomination of desolation mentioned in Scripture. The idea here is that Jesus' first arrival on earth aligned with the Jewish Spring Festivals, while His second coming might be announced by events corresponding to the Fall Festivals. This way of thinking about prophecy helps us understand timelines and how God reveals His plans throughout history. It's a fascinating perspective that encourages us to consider the cyclical nature of God's work and the amazing story of humanity. Intriguing developments are emerging in the study of biblical prophecy, particularly regarding the potential fulfillment of events described in the book of Revelation. Some scholars propose that we might be entering a period of significant change, aligning with the prophesied seven-year tribulation, time leading up to a momentous turning point. Notably, the fall of 2027 is suggested as a possible culmination of this period, marking a significant milestone in biblical prophecy. 
adding another layer of intrigue. Recent research challenges the traditional assumption that the temple in Jerusalem would be physically rebuilt before these events, and through meticulous analysis of historical landmarks, a compelling argument is made for identifying the temple's location based on existing structures, such as the possible incorporation of the threshing floor into the Dome of the Rock. This fresh perspective offers a deeper understanding of how biblical prophecies might be unfolding. By examining both historical clues and scripture, this approach attempts to pinpoint the location of the temple, a detail with immense significance for interpreting prophecies about the end times. This nuanced interpretation highlights the interconnectedness of scripture, historical events or ends, and contemporary realities. It invites us to embark on a thoughtful exploration of these concepts, encouraging deeper spiritual discernment and a richer understanding of prophetic insights. This interpretive framework centers on the belief that Jesus' first coming fulfilled the spring feasts, while his second coming will coincide with the fulfillment of the fall feasts. This theological view helps us understand prophetic timelines, prompting us to think about how divine revelation unfolds over time. In an interesting twist, rethinking the assumption about the physical rebuilding of the temple leads to a big realization upon closer examination. By carefully studying historical landmarks, like the incorporation of the temple's threshing floor into the Dome of the Rock's platform, we can make a strong case for identifying the temple's location. This discovery adds a new layer to our exploration of eschatological prophecy by connecting historical evidence with sacred landmarks. We build a strong argument for pinpointing the temple's location, a task of great significance in understanding biblical prophecy and the unfolding events of the end times. This detailed interpretation shows how scripture, history, and modern realities interact, encouraging us all to explore spiritual insights and prophetic understanding. Many people are fascinated by the Temple Mount and its place in biblical prophecy. This discussion explores the fascinating connection between these ancient scriptures and the world we live in today. The Temple Mount is a powerful symbol, steeped in history and religious meaning for thousands of years. Some traditional interpretations of prophecy suggest a physical temple will be rebuilt. This discussion offers a different perspective, focusing on the enduring holiness of the location itself. Perhaps future events prophesied in the Bible could unfold within this sacred space. The idea of a figure like the Antichrist claiming divinity and desecrating a holy place is a chilling image of potential future turmoil. This reinterpretation provides a fresh way to understand how these end-time events might play out, considering the complex political situation of our world. The discussion also explores the concept of sacrifice. Perhaps the emphasis wouldn't be on literally restarting old rituals, but rather on the symbolic importance of their renewal. This approach highlights the deeper spiritual meaning of these prophesied events. The arrival of five rare red heifers in Israel has ignited discussions about the Temple Mount and its significance in biblical prophecy. This event, known as the Year of the Red Heifer, offers a curious bridge between ancient rituals and the realities of our time. Could these heifers play a role in a future ceremony with profound meaning? Understanding the Temple Mount's role in the end times can be challenging. Traditional interpretations often focus on the physical rebuilding of a temple. This discussion proposes a different perspective, highlighting the enduring holiness of the Temple Mount itself. Perhaps prophesied events could unfold within this sacred space. The concept of a sacrifice like the Red Heifer ceremony is fascinating and speculation about its timing and implications is high. This discussion offers a helpful lens through which to explore these complex topics. It invites us to engage with scripture with fresh eyes and consider the potential meaning of current events. Some believe a red heifer sacrifice at the Temple Mount could precede Passover, potentially signaling a period of great distress prophesied in the Bible, known as the Abomination of Desolation. This could ultimately lead to the second coming of Christ. It's important to acknowledge the uncertainty surrounding the timing of these events. This discussion encourages us to stay informed about current events and be open to new interpretations of Scripture. Rather than clinging to rigid ideas, we can approach the Bible with humility and discernment, fostering a richer understanding of the connection between prophecy and human actions. 
while the specifics of the future remain veiled by approaching Scripture with open hearts and minds, we gain a deeper appreciation for God's grand plan. As we navigate these mysteries, remember the unwavering promise found in Scripture. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. Embrace the hope and comfort found in faith and know that through Jesus Christ we are never truly alone.